faster. Depends who's asking. A witcher. Want to talk to him. Hmm. Yeah. And I want to plow the lovely Queen Cyril. Seen this man before. In at the crossroads. You was there not so long ago. Thought you were supposed to go your separate way. Nice and all. It led me here. Gotta to talk to the Baron. Oh, I. What about? Something important. His ears only. Fine. Lodrin, let him in. If he makes any trouble, well, we had none but him. Open the gate. Sergeant. Ardle. Witcher to see the Baron. Don't want no disturbances. That clear? What do you think? Guard called you a sergeant. You a Temerian soldier? Not your concern, mate. Deserter. Temerian army don't exist, no. So what are you all doing here? Had a choice after the Black Ones thrashed us. Let it lie and try to lead normal lives. <laughs> or continue to resist, join the guerrillas and fight for our beloved Temeria till death do us part. We chose the former. And the Baron your commander? Hmm. Yeah. Commander. Emphysema? Now those were balls. Attended a few, me and my Annie. How oh, how we danced, how we twirled, ha ha ha! Ooh! One, two, three, one, two, three, ha <laughs> Enough. I don't care how you do it, but the deliveries must be weekly. Won't you stay for tea? No. Besides, you've another guest. Look at that. Didn't even stay for tea. In spite of all that blabbering about how cultured the nation is. Rumors rarely find confirmation in reality, especially the ones about foreigners. <laughs> right you are. I'm... I know who you are. Believe I also know why you've come. We'll talk inside. Make yourself at home. Now where do I put the bloody vodka? Ah, there it is. A snifter. Why not? Ha! A man after my own heart. Hmm. With Foltes dead and Natalis whereabouts unknown. Bloody hell. Who's a loyal Sumerian to drink to these days? Himself and his company? Good enough. To the matter at hand, I'm Philip Stringer. Now the blob tits round here call me the Bloody Baron. Geralt of Rivia. Blob tits call me the Butcher of Blaviken. I said already, I know who you are. 
Truth be told, it's the only reason we're talking. How do you like it here in Velen? I don't. Swamps, bogs, marshes everywhere. Exactly. Someone loses their way around here, he becomes damn hard to find. What are you getting at? Many have lost loved ones here. Some their wives, others their daughters. Get to the point already. Siri, that's why you've come, isn't it? So she was here. She showed up some time ago. Exhausted, wounded, and stinking like a soaked hound after a hard hunt. Later, I learned she'd come from the swamp. Said some beasts from the woods attacked her before she could reach the village. Calm down. Hello there. Are you lost? A little, I guess. Are you? Yes. Though also just a little. Does that mean... You know which way to go? Not quite. Not yet. But I'm sure we'll find the way if we set off together. What happened to you? This? It's nothing. How did you wind up here? My father brought me. Told me to follow the trail of treats and eat my fill. He said he would wait. So I started down the trail. Then I saw a butterfly, and I ran to catch it, and I lost my way. Your father, why did he have you follow the trail of treats? Do you know? Because we had an app to break our fast with. I don't understand. He was naughty. Broke a jug. Spilled all our milk. Your parents must have been angry. Mother said I should be spanked, but father said wouldn't do no good. Too many mouths to feed anyway. Sending me down the trail of treats, that would solve things. You and your father, when did you leave home? This morning. And did the sun warm your face or your back? It warmed my back. So we must go east. Come, I'll walk you home. Explain to your parents that they must not lose their children in the woods. We can't go home because of the Wolf King and his pack. No kings among wolves. These have one. And you've seen him? Yes. I mean, no. From behind a tree. He was huge, with giant eyes and great fangs, and he was terribly, disgustably horrific. See what I've got on my back? Wolves fear it. Kings do too. Come, I'll help you up. <sighs> Wolves! Quick, hide! 
Wait. Could do a lot more. Come. Look, there's something there. Wait here. Don't come any closer. But no buts. Stay here. I must see something. Still moist. He died recently. Lips parted and bloated. Bit clear through his tongue. Immense pain before death. Ah, his chest is crushed. Ribs probably pierced his lungs. Something picked him up and threw him against the tree. Tore his leg off. No, gnawed it off. Ew, that's horrible. Stay there and look away. Hmm, what's this? Marrow's missing. Interesting. Let's see. His liver's gone. Why are you digging through his belly? Would you mind making certain your laces are tied? The Wolf King's no fantasy, it seems. Except he's a werewolf. What happened to him? He had a fall. Mm, I bet. The Wolf King got him. When did children get so smart? What will we do when the Wolf King finds us? Good question. I've no silver. But I can make a blade oil. Oil? You mean like we make from rapeseed? No. A far more special oil. Of dog tallow, wolf's bane, fool's parsley, and wolf's liver. The Wolf King will feel terrible, terrible pain. You're smart. How do you know these things? Did your father teach you? Not my father. My uncle. Uncle Vesemir. It's dead. 
But a pig here? Must be a human settlement nearby. often send their children out to follow the sweets. Sometimes they send their children. Sometimes they go themselves. Do they return? No. Why would they? They've plenty to eat where the path ends. spot where I can build a fire and brew the oil in peace. What are you doing? Greasing my blade. There. We'll see just how effective Uncle Vesemir's formulae are. It's a bit dark. Afraid? Are you? No. Then I'm not... In Give him a drubbing. Never seen anything like it. Girl, you can come out now. Come on. You're lucky we came this way. Found someone far less fortunate in the forest. Aaron, must be. We was returning from Midcops when the brute attacked. I managed to flee, but. Yaren, the... the little one. No details. You have bandages at home. Some spirit? He laid a claw or two on me, unfortunately. Well, I've I not missed, but my lord, he's a powerful man. He's sure to help you. Might even reward you for cutting the werewolf down. Very well. Lead us to your lord. Just who do you think you brought me, man? That's not me daughter. 
And the little one? Neither, damn it! I think I'd know my own child. Well, it might, might not be yours, the older one, but you've got to admit a likeness. That's downright striking. So, any chance for that reward? You'll not see one fucking copper. Get out before I set my hands on you. So, stew any good? Mm, very. Thank you. I'd not eaten in... Clear to see. I'm pleased you like it. Had them prepare a bath for you, once you've eaten. And you could do with some sleep. Gretka in the nook behind the hearth. You in the guest room opposite the kitchen. Thank you. I sh... Eat now. We'll speak once you've rested. So I ordered my men to watch her, and left her to rest. And? Ah, a topic for another time. The little girl who showed up here with Siri. What happened to her? Gretka. She's safe and sound. Helps out in the kitchen. Siri told me of the girl's parents, what they decided. So I decided not to send the lass home. She's fed here. A roof over a warm corner she calls her own. She wants for nothing. What happened to Siri? I've told you already. A topic for another time. Take it you won't give me this information for free. <laughs> Sharp you are. I regret your loss. Commiserate. But you see, it so happens my wife and daughter are missing as well. I propose an exchange. Find my loved ones, and I shall tell you about the girl you seek. All I know. Fine. I'll help you. I'll find your family. But then you'll give me every bit of information you have. You have my word. God! This man's under my protection. No one's to bother him, in any way. Don't stare, I've not grown horns. Treat it as a token of my good faith. When do you see them last? They vanished after the new moon, as if whisked away by shadows. What do you mean, vanished? Precisely that. I awoke one morn to find them gone. You try to search for them? Sent men out right away. But they're not suited to it. It's one thing to rip up floorboards in search of a peasant's last sack of grain. Finding a living person, they just don't know how. Besides, Velen's naught but swamps and marshy woodland. Plenty of hard to find nooks. If you're looking to hide someone, this is the place. Maybe they were kidnapped. Got any enemies? None worth mentioning. Worthless little pricks and angry peasants is all. None would dare raise a finger against my family. Any who might have, they've been eating dirt long since. Anything unusual happen before they disappeared? They act differently, do anything strange? Unusual? No. Well, not long ago, peasants came to complain that a beast had ravaged a woman by the well, devoured another last before her. Common occurrences in Velen. And my women, Anna, Quiet as a mouse as ever. And Tamara, occupied with her things, nothing unusual. This place must be hard to be the only two women here. This place? What do you mean? They wanted for nothing here. Pheasant for dinner? Not a problem. Blue ribbons from Toussaint? Say the word. Had your men in mind. Their company. Sure your wife and daughter weren't being harassed? My men are a horde of horsons, but they know their place. One of them so much as looked at Anna or Tamara crosswise, I'd cut him down like a dog. I'll need to know a lot more than that. Can I see their rooms? What for? I need clues. Anything to latch onto. 
I'll not let a stranger pour through their belongings. Want me to find them or not? I do. Then let me work. <sighs> Fine. But I shall go with you. The doors are locked. When she was a babe, my daughter loved animals. Saw a deer trophy on the wall once. Do you know what she asked? Haven't got a clue. Papa, is that deer's wump on the other side of the wall? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you see it there? Oh, oh, what's a trophy? <laughs> I pity any bastard who's hurt her. I'll flay him alive. Here it is. Damn it! Jammed again. Bed chamber. Tamara's room is there. Think I got scabies. Try not to make a mess. For their return, I want everything to be as they left it. I think I got scabies. <laughs> Get out of my sight. Candlestick. Stem's broken.
walls a different color. Something used to hang here. Hmm. That painting? Right size. Fresh flowers. He expects them to return any minute. Takes hope. The Baron and his wife. <laughs> Look happy enough. What's this? Ah, gotta wonder who wanted to hide the hole. And what's on the other side. Hmm, it gets interesting. Piece of wood looks like the stem of that candlestick. No coincidence there. Hmm. Fight might have happened here. I'll look for clues. Deep nicks. Hit with a heavy object. Huh. Rest of the candlestick. And wine stains. Somebody smashed a bottle from Toussaint. Yeah, Ervalus. Scent hasn't died. Wonder where it'll lead me. Get out of my sight. breaks off. Could find something else, though. Mm. Spruce wood. Smells of juniper incense. Some sort of folk talisman. Protective. Question is, against what? Won't find much else here. Think I got scared. Don't poking around. Found signs of a fight in the room. Know anything about that? A fight? What are you talking about? Someone was attacked. Probably your wife or daughter. Whoever it was tried to defend themselves with a candlestick. Missed the attacker. Punctured the wall instead. They tussled too. I... I don't know nothing about this. That night, I was drunk. Don't remember a thing. They were gone by the time I awoke. Doubt you were the only ones in the castle. Maybe one of your men heard something? Three times I asked those bastards if they'd seen anything, heard anything. Nothing! Not a one of them! Whole landing smells of wine. Tell me anything about that? One of the lads must be. Lushy's one and all. Give your men air valuse. Oh, damn it. I might have spilled it. I told you I was good and marinated that night. Was it matter? Stench of wine in plenty of corn around the castle. Recognize this amulet? Hmm. Yes. Anna began wearing it a time ago. Any idea where she got it? None. Any witches or cunning women in the area? A Pella. Old Coot lives near Blackbow. And there's a cunning woman in Midcops, but I know little about her. She's only recently arrived. If Anna were to see someone, she'd choose the Pella, not the woman. Anna was wary of strangers, newcomers. Ought to have a chat with this Pella. Fair warning, he's a hard man to talk to. Rumor has it he killed his own father with an axe as a lad, then went batty. Now they say he sees ghosts and plows his goat. Not really interested in his hobbies. Just want to ask about the amulet. Freak. Chopping those sounds last night too. 
How may I assist you? Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. So long. Ever heard of preventive arse whooping? Fox on a lot of you. Take here, vagrants. Go, go. Hey! Baron Schmarry. Why would a plow? Come on, Roach. What do you want? Want to talk to the Peller? Too late. We've got dibs on a chat with him. A long one. Think you need to leave now. Do we? You do. Well, let's go then. Preventive arse whooping. Mm. Gotta wonder about a man who could get Edric's friends all worked up. Hey, anybody home? Open up, it's safe now. Devils, who do they bring? What seek ye? I need your help. Oh, a man, nay, a wolf, grey, though not old. Tis he the pillar awaits. You were expecting me. Aye, 
as the bones declared I should. They shall come whose stench is rape and death, but the wolf shall disperse them, the white wolf. And thus he comes. Omens never lie. Recognize this? Made of spruce wood, strong smell of juniper, designed to protect someone. Freshly cut spruce, sprinkled with goat's blood, then tempered with an incense of earth, smoke, and juniper. For Anna, to protect her. You make the amulet? Aye, sure it was the Pella. After the way of his forefathers over still water in the light of a full moon. Proper as amulets go. It protected well. Should never have taken it off. So, designed to protect her. From what? Oh, the dear. Besieged she was, evil all around, wanting to possess her. Old magic, born of oblivion, from dark sources emerged. Old magic? Can you be more specific? It is not for mouth speech, nor for the touch. A small protective charm, not a thing more a Pella could do. Anna and her daughter are missing. Know where they are? Nay, no, nay. Pella don't know. But the spirits could know. The Pella will augur, the spirits ask. Spirits? Great. Fine with me. Long as I know where to look, where to find them. Lost, lost, must be found. Princess! None better than princess for finding things. Princess? Which princess? Princess! My goat! She's fled! Those men must have scared her off. Can we get back to the auguring? Without the goat? Impossible. No goat? <laughs> Won't work. <sighs> Will you help me if I bring the goat back? Princess! Princess! Where have you got to, girl? Fine. I'll get your goat. The bell! The little bell's ringing! She loves it! Ring, ring, and she will follow. But for a while. But beware of wild strawberries. Raspberries, too. Yeah, treacherous as beasts go. I always keep an eye out for them.
This way, I think. Let's go see the beller. Should have guessed as much. What's a witcher compared to a patch of wild strawberries? This way, your grace. Do I really have to keep ringing this bell for you to follow? Come on, damn it. go. You're no roach, but I bet we can be friends in time. You've got that all-important quality every roach has to have. You don't talk much. Give us a rest. Why, not even a white wolf can make a princess. No worries. Goat of mine, dearest, sweetest goat.
happy for you, but I'm kinda in a hurry. Anna and Tamara, they might be in danger. The White Wolf helped the Pella, and so the Pella shall help him. Blood. We need blood. A living being. Fine. Be right back. Do. It's over? Is that it? That is it. Spirits had nothing more to say? Like where they went or where they are now? You came for an augury, an augur I did. They're gone, the child remains. Mentioned a child. Whose? Why, Anna's. Anna was pregnant? She was. And she miscarried. Hmm, Baron didn't mention it. Afraid, perhaps, or ashamed, or forgetful, or perhaps he had no wish to remember. Anna tell you all this? Did she come here after it happened? Nay, not Anna. It was the omens told me. Great, so I can be sure it's true. The omens need not your faith to be true. It is you who needs the omens to lead you to truth. The Baron have anything to do with his wife's miscarriage? Foul-tempered he is, and he's a fondness for Hooch. No doubt makes his temper even fouler. Did he abuse his family? Anna came to you, you must have noticed something. The Pella's old, near blind. But Princess came and licked her hand. So what? She's a wise beast. Only comes to those who suffer. What happened to the child? In a grave throne, without rite or ceremony, it awoke. Now it wanders, it seeks vengeance. A botchling. White wolf, wise wolf, catch the botchling. The botchling will help, lead the wolf to the loved ones. Botchlings suck the blood of pregnant women and eat their fetuses. They don't help. Tis a being cursed, and witches lift curses. If the white wolf can't lift it, he should bring me its blood. Blood will always find kindred blood. Why do you want its blood? Blood, blood, blood. It binds men for all ages, the living and the dead. Sure, but what do you want to do with it? At times, a century is too short for two brothers to reconcile. One dies before things are set right. The other then brings his blood to the Pella. Mm -hmm. And what does the Pella do? He awaits forefathers' eve. He mixes the blood with milk, herbs, and hen's feet. He drinks to reconcile the dead with the living. There shall be no forefathers' eve this year, but we'll find a way all the same. Heard of one witcher who lifted a botchling's curse. Never tried it myself, though. I know you need to bury it under the threshold. And give it a name. Perform the I'm Roin. The ritual of naming. That's an elven custom. Human, elven, dwarven, ancient. Spirits have no race. They honor not its meaning. Win a spirit's favor, and the spirit shall aid you. Ask, and it will answer. Seek, and it will show you the way. 
I hear you right. You mentioned Forefather's Eve. Pretty old custom. Thought it had died out. Death lurks in every bog and puddle round here. Folk know they could die, their earthly matters unresolved. Then they require help, or they'll not know peace. Forefather's Eve must be performed. Light the tallow candles to lead them through the dark. Call them by name, appease their regrets. Only then may they depart in peace. Whatever I do, I gotta find the botchling first. Seek it at midnight, near the grave that lies empty. If what you say is true, the Baron ought to know where that grave is. Get up. Oswing? Where's Oswing? Anyone seen him? I believe I saw him heading to the stable. What? Fire. You blind? Nobody willing to put it out? Ain't that simple. Most are afraid. Baron flies into a rage. He takes no prisoners. My brother's in the stable. We've got to save him. He'll burn alive. Him and the horses. See what I can do. Hurry now, quick!
You've earned yourself a barrel of Lyrian! I know your wife miscarried. Was that before or after you beat her to a pulp? What the fuck are you suggesting? Don't play me for a fool. You'd been beating them for years. Finally, they'd had enough and fled. Sound about right? Ah! Ah! They ran from you, didn't they? Lying prick! We need to talk. Sit down. You beat them. I never laid a finger on Samara. Not once. And on Anna? That's another story. She always knew how to spark my ire. Your wife. How'd she make you angry? Too much salt in the soup? Socks never darned? Twenty years we've known each other. She's seen me drunk and sober. She was there to greet me when I returned the victor. She was there to patch me up in defeat. Like no other, she knew where to press, where to pinch, so it would hurt. You beat her? For that? For criticizing you? Oh, Witcher, you haven't a clue, have you? Well, perhaps I shall tell you about it one day. One day, but not today. Expect me to believe you are a loving father to Tamara after that scene in the courtyard? You're free to believe whatever you wish, but she was always the apple of my eye. She had the run of the place, ask anyone. She'd ride the horses, hunt with the men, at times join them on their rounds. And they'd send for her when I flew into a rage, for only she could calm me. Make it sound like she led a charmed life. If that's the case, why'd she run? I'd hardly need you if I knew. You knew they'd run away from the start. Yes, I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. Say I had. Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for?
Tell me everything you remember about the day they fled. The truth this time. I'd been soaking myself three days straight. Anna came to me, said they were leaving. I begged them to stay. She refused to hear it. I tried to stop her. She wriggled like an eel. We struggled. She fell. Last blasted thing I remember. Woke up in the morn, breeches heavy with my own piss. A large bump on my head. Sadly, they were gone. Know what that's like, Witcher? No. How the fuck could you? I was left with nothing. Nothing! Only the bottle. Signs of a fight in the room. Hole in the wall, wine all over the landing. Was that you? Oi. We tussled. She tried to whack me on the noggin with a candlestick, but kept missing. Hit the wall and the pillar instead. I staggered backwards onto the table, spilled the wine, slipped and tumbled. Anna used that moment to flee. She rushed down the stairs, still clutching that damn candlestick. I caught her on the landing. We fell. I, I thought I had her. Then she turned and smacked me in the head. I blacked out. Don't know what happened next. When I came to, I was alone. Tomorrow present for all this, she see you quarrel. Through the doorway, perhaps. She didn't enter the room. Shame, too. Things might have turned out differently. The sight of her always calmed me. What happened next? Next? It only got worse. I awoke at sunset, not knowing how many days had passed. Thought it was all a plowing, drunken nightmare. And then I went to the bedchamber, and Anna was not there. Instead, there was blood everywhere. I knew she'd miscarried. My breath short, my throat locked. I neared the bed and saw it. It lay there, a tiny thing, defenseless, on bloodied sheets, dead. And it was my doing. Maybe you're doing, maybe not. But that amulet she wore could be important, or maybe the fact that she lost it. What did you do with the child? What was I to do? Took it out and buried it. Just like that? Damn you! I gave no thought to a funeral. It was a horror. I wanted it to end. That child had been my dream. I told Anna, the little one, our little one, to make things right. Yet she died before she could be born. Understand, Witcher? My child was dead. Get hold of yourself. Men like you, when they break down, look downright pathetic. You're a heartless bastard. <laughs> Mutations worked then. But here's the good news. Your dead child might help us find the one who's still alive. And your wife. What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into... fucking what? A cursed creature that draws strength from killing pregnant women. Once it's strong enough, it attacks those who scorned it. But how... how does it know? Blood ties. They're a strong bond. A bond I want to use to find your family. How? 
One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual, and turn it into a lubberkin. That's a sort of, uh, hob, a guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. And the other way? We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. It's suffered enough already. Lift the curse that it may finally rest in peace. Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. I'll show you where I buried her, and I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubberkin, they can bury us in it. Handy either way. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight, at midnight. Then wait here with me. Near midnight, I'll take you to where I buried her. Get word to the common folk. Ought to stay in their homes tonight and draw a line of salt outside their doors. And try to sober up. Do I take a shovel? To dig up the grave? Take it. You'll need it, but not for that. A bit further. Follow me. You give the child a name? No. Why would we? Mistake. Names are powerful seals. Here's the spot. Chose a lovely spot. Damn it, will you relent? I'm plowing now I've done wrong. Good. The grave's dug up and empty. What's that mean? Botch things on the prowl. us in the arse before we know it. Keep screaming and it will turn rabid. It's calm for now. Bloody hell. What happens when it gets plowing restless? It'll bite through your jugular and you'll bleed to death before I can help. Tell me if it starts wriggling. I'll calm it with magic. Pick it up. Take it in your arms. Merciful gods. Back to the fortress. What? With this? As I recall, you were the one wanted to test the old legends, change it into a lubberkin. Oh, fuck.
driving something fierce. Can't hold it. Calm it somehow. Oh. What do you want to do with it? Me? Nothing. This is your job. Told you, gotta bury it under the threshold. If the tales are true, by tomorrow it'll be a lubricant. From then on, it'll watch over your house and help me find your family. Chosen a name? No. So think of one. It's important. It's... it's a girl. What would Anna have named her? What now? In one day's time, Dea should turn into a lubricant. I'll stay here and wait. You go home. I'll wait with you. Out of the question. But that's my child. And the guilt, the responsibility for all this, lies with me. Time for parental impulses? It's long past. 
Besides, nothing else you can do here. But no buts. Just Witcher's work left to do here. Gotta wait a day and a night for the botchling to turn into a lubberkin. That's it. Go home. And try not to drink yourself stupid again. By blood's power, I summon you. With your name, I beseech you. Hear my call and arise, Dea. Lead me to those bound to you by blood. Sure wasn't lavender they kept in there. Might be worth looking around, though. Clothing. They change in here. A bracelet. One of them must have dropped it. something more. Show me what you got. Necrophages had a field day. 
Still worth a closer look. have been here a while. Chewed on the saddle. Necrophages will eat anything these days. Giant claws. Wasn't a necrophage made these marks. Horseshoes missing. Is this the animal that lost one in the smokehouse? Torn clear off. Takes incredible strength. Must have been attacked by a powerful beast. Surprised him. Hope they got away. Hmm. Trail goes on. Good thing it doesn't end here. What now? Fisherman's hut. Seems she wants me to take a closer look. Who's that? At the room. Go on now. What do you seek here, sir? Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. We knows nothing. Just need information. Looking for two women, the Bloody Baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Sure? Not even passing through? Daughter's medium height, about 20. Her mother's thin, about 40. Seen them? That sir came at night, right, Mummy? Quiet, boy! Where'd the girl go? Your son said enough, no point in playing dumb anymore. Sorry, sir, but you don't look like one of her father's men. Because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tavara is, hi. She's to my brother's place in Oxenford. But Mrs. Anna, that's another tale. Though anywhere's better than to crow's perch with a baron. Why? Because... 
because he beat her, sir. Beat Mrs. Anna, I mean. Everyone knew, but not a one lifted a finger for to stop it. What happened to Tamara's mother? Ah, uh, for like this. I was awaiting in the old smokehouse with horses. Cold as hell and so dark, couldn't see past two L's in front of you. The moon had arisen high, and still they hadn't come. Began to fear some demon had snatched them. But finally, they came forth, and we set off towards the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose. Thought it'd tear my head off. And those damn birds, swarms of them coursing o'er the woods, raising the racket to make your ears bleed. Mrs. Anna screamed, bent over into herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. Toward then, I saw it. Fiery marks on her hands. What marks? These, well, like burned on with hot iron. On the palms, inside. Burned? Like a cattle brand? Aye. Though these wasn't black scars scabbed over. These hot and glowing, as if they burned with raw fire. Fine. What happened next? Grew even darker. Seemed someone had put out the stars. Crickets all went silent of a sudden. And then, from the woods, a roar. Broke out in a cold sweat, and before I could catch my breath, a beast jumped out of the woods, big as a barn, with horns and two burning coals for eyes. I thought I was done for. Beast attacked Mrs. Anna's horse, ripped its head off, carried her off into the woods. Our horses, mine and Miss Tamara's, got spooked and tore off willy-nilly. It was the only reason we escaped. The miss wanted to go back for her mother, but my wife pleaded, said she'd die out there alone. Miss Tamara agreed not to go. Why help them at all? You risked a lot. I did that. Old Miss Tamara. Three moons passed, a fever gripped my boy. We thought he was done for. Tamara alerted it, brought food and salves. We're poorer than dirt itself. She saved my boy. No two ways about it. Me, myself, I'd have never dared to help. But my missus told me, a time of war and contempt's come, a time of folk gone wrong. We needs to repay good with good. Who stands by idly does evil as if. Married a wise woman. Crying shame we couldn't save Mrs. Anna in the end. Thanks for your help. The lady, she'll be all right in the end, won't she? I'll do what I can to see that she is. So here our paths diverge. Thank you, Dea. Go in peace.
So fast, Roach. Long live run of it. Greetings. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. That's it, Roach. Stay out of my way. Come on. disease, defeatism and desertion. Long live Radovin! No passage! Halt! No passage! Case of the plague surface in the city or something? The plague? Uh, no. We're to not let folk in the city. It's in order, so I don't, unless someone's got a pass. What kind of pass are we talking about? Well, a normal one. A transit pass. Who issues them? How should I know? I'm a lowly soldier. Who ordered the city gates closed? Word is the king himself. Doesn't want paupers and refugees pissing all over his beautiful city. Apart from which, when folk can go hither and thither, always a chance some spy will slink through. This way, spies got it harder. So, no pass, no passage. Farewell.
crawl back under your rock. Redania. Continue along. Can't let my jacket get wet again. I'll get lashed. Oh, excuse me. Looking for Tamara, the Bloody Baron's daughter. Your brother said I'd find her here. Voitex sent you, sir. How else would I know she was here? Wait a moment. I'll fetch her straight away. To send you? Yeah, to see if you're still alive and well. I'm Geralt of Rivia. I'm quite alive and extraordinarily well, Geralt of Rivia. Better than I've ever been in this rotten life of mine, and now that you've seen me, I bid you farewell. Wait. We've nothing more to talk about. Got every right to be angry at your father, but he's worried about you. I have a right. Thank you kindly. So good to have the approval of his hired thug. And my father worries only about what to get soused on next. He's no saint, that's clear. But he's got the whole province on its feet looking for you. Finding you and your mother seems to me there's nothing more important to him now. I know evil men. He's not one of them. Shame he never showed such concern before. Especially for my mother. He made a mistake and knows that. I'm not defending him, just saying that maybe he's come to realize what he's done and what you mean to him. Oh, wonderful. I'll bear that in mind. Did you really come all the way here just to tell me that? Before I agreed to look for you, your father told me his version of events. Tell me yours. Mine? It's dull as life amidst the swamps. My earliest memories are of a drunken father lying under the stairs, caked in mud and clutching a bottle. Next dozen years, pretty much the same. Father would drink, disappear for days, then come home in a rage and send furniture flying. Thank the gods for war, I was glad every time they sent him off. And the quarrels. I remember him screaming at mum, the thuds as he beat her, then her sobbing. I'd hide under my bed and long for silence. That's the long and short of it. Multiply by 19 and there you have my life. 
Finally, we'd had enough, Mum and me. He crossed the line and we fled. I don't mean to pry, but I know your mother had a miscarriage. His doing? He shoved her, she fell, that's how it started. We were alone, no one to help, blood everywhere. Worst night of my life. Sorry, must have been hard for you both. Mum was in shock, she was raving that it was better this way, that she never wanted the child. Must have had a fever, she was losing blood the whole time. She didn't want the child? Said she'd sooner cut open her gut than bear another child from his seed. Wojtek claims your mother had strange marks on her hands, and that a monster dragged her into the woods. That true? We were riding towards the river. Suddenly, Mum cried out, bent over, almost fell off her horse. I rode up to her and saw something strange. Her hands were on fire. And then that creature leapt from the woods. I don't know what it was, but it roared so fierce my nose bled. I saw it topple trees. I've never been so scared in my life. And that... that thing grabbed my mum and disappeared into the woods. I wanted to turn back, go after them, but the, the horses panicked. Now I don't even know if she's alive. What will you do now? Find my mum. You realize that might not be that easy. Don't worry, I'm not daft enough to believe I can do it alone. I've got some new friends now. Powerful friends. They'll help me. Who are these friends, if it's not a secret? No secret. Heard of the Church of the Eternal Fire? A priest helped me contact the Redanian witch hunters. Righteous, brave men. They'll help me. Hence the candlesticks in your room. So you believe in the Eternal Fire? Once the heat of the fire has set your heart aflame, it gives you strength and leads you down the path of truth for the rest of your life. I hope it'll bless you with its warmth one day. Thanks. Thing is, fire's tricky. It's easy to get burned. What about your father? Who? Oh, him. I don't care. I won't go back to him. That bit of my life? Forgotten it already. Well, well. <laughs> a witcher. Never thought the Baron would stoop to hiring a monster slayer. Though I hear you're good at tracking things down. Glad you know who I am. Haven't introduced yourself, though. Graden, witch hunter in the service of His Royal Majesty Radovid of Redania. I'm certain you've heard of us. Rings a bell. If the Bloody Baron sent you to fetch his daughter, you'd best face it. You will fail in your task. I appreciate your concern, but I don't need it. As for Tamara, she can make her own decisions. Hmm. <coughs> Noble of you. A killer for hire abandoning his bounty for the good of another. The Hunters and the Church of the Eternal Fire thank you. So the Baron hired a Witcher to find his daughter. Interesting. Desperate fathers have been known to do a lot to find their daughters. Unexpected from a Witcher. <coughs> I thought your mutations cleansed you of humanity. Stripped you of emotions. You don't need mutations to strip men of their humanity. I've seen plenty of examples. Where are you gonna take her? Tamara must rest. She's had a harrowing experience. When the warmth of the Eternal Fire has restored her strength, we shall see about finding her mother. Hope you know what you're getting into. I've never been more certain. The Eternal Fire is the best thing that could happen to me. In that case, good luck. Thank you for respecting my choice. Farewell.
Dania. Go anything for an aching belly. Stop in pain here. I've been belt since yesterday. I've got always high medical attack on that. Greetings. My, my, a witcher. Sure doesn't look... So... Looking to perf... Of course. Crafting's like... Still talking about... Aye, uh, what it... Show me where you have... So long. Stay out of my way. <laughs> long live, etc. Et Your bread, your coin. Greetings, Master. Walk up, got a razor in. So long.
remember me? Stable hand pulled you out of the fire. We'll never forget that. Here, I'm grateful. Witcher, a word, please. What is it? That night, when the Baron ordered everyone to lock their doors, stay inside. What did you and the Baron do? Gotta ask the Baron about that. Speaking of which, know where he is? Garden. Spends a lot of time sitting there of late. Drunk? No. Don't drink, don't eat. Just sit. There you are. See the hollyhock there? The violet blooms. Brought the plants here from Nazaire. Anna had read some story. Insisted on having them. Spent hours tending to them, trimming, pruning. She was so content at that. And them, the frilly ones, are called birds of paradise in Zeracania. But Tamara called them dragons of paradise. She adored them. Damn shame I'll never learn which blooms would please Daya most. Though it's good to know her spirit's free. Your loss. It must hurt. Bad. But there wasn't anything we could do. No. Not now. Not anymore. It was too late. That was clear. Should have acted earlier. Taken them all from this damned villain. In this hole. This reesty mire. Nothing could go right here. Got some information about your family. You've learned something? Well, let's go inside. It's a bit chilly out. Any news for me? Your daughter's in Oxenford. What the blazes? Is she all right? In good health? Safe? Why haven't you brought her back? Never offered to do that. How do you know she's safe? You see her, at least? I saw her. We talked. She said I could tell you she's safe. When will she come home? And that she's not coming back. She's not to return. But I prepared all for her. Her rooms are white. I sent away for new pantoblas from Toussaint. How can she not come back? The sooner you accept this, the better. Face it, you haven't been the best father. I have not. True. But I'd change. I'd be different. If only she'd return. If only they'd both come back. Maybe all is not yet lost. She's in oxen Firch, you say. Well, maybe she hasn't left. Maybe she'll hear me out. You can always try. Wouldn't get my hopes up, though. I shall try. I must. Life is pointless without her and Anna. I've nothing to lose. Incidentally, what of my Annie? Learned anything? Nothing yet, but I'm on her trail. Well, what are you waiting for? For you to tell me about Siri, like we agreed. <sighs> Fine. A word once given. When Siri was on the mend, we took her out on a hunt. Thought a bit of galloping would warm up her limbs, gone stiff from so much bed rest. That lass of yours, pure luck in the flesh. To hunt down a wild boar that size, why, worthy of one of King Faltest's feasts, were he still among the living. Sere, come! Our haunt should be yours as I see it. Oh, you're doing well, lass. Not bad. 
Not bad at all. But who goes boar hunting with a sword? No bow at hand, no spear. My sword was all I had. <laughs> well, you brandished it beautifully. Where'd they teach you that, anyway? At Kerr Morhen. Witcher school there, I. But they only took lads, as I recall. They made an exception for me. Right. Mean to say you're a she-witcher? Not entirely. The mutations, I was never subjected to them. But everything else I know, I learned from the witchers there. Know any of them potions? Not so much. A bit. Because, you see, at times I get this pinching back here. Shut it, Egrin. Nobody cares about your backside. A woman could swing a sword. I've known one. But never seen a lady mount anything but a cock proper. All tipsy on horseback. Nothing strange on account they bloody mount them sideways. Perhaps you'd care to wager? Think you can outrun me on an horse? <laughs> Naturally. What's the stake? Black Mare. The one in the stable. Oh, that won't do at all. Well, that's an awfully gloomy face. Too much of a coward to race a woman. The horse is mine. To race the Baron himself. I'd consider it an honor. <laughs> oh, that'd be a sight to behold. Would it ever? Done. But if I win, I take your sword. Agreed. I'd not drink any more this night. You'll want your head about you. We start at daybreak. Dawns. Ready? As ever. First one to the tower. Man chop! <laughs> Come on, Siri! Don't you embarrass us! Your sword is mine! That'll be the day! Best horse. The mare is yours. Thank you. What? Another chance to win. She screamed like a mad woman. In an instant, all had forgotten the wager. Every man ran to save his skin, even worried to break his neck. And they make it? Some, aye. Others were not so fortunate. But what happened then? I must say, Witcher, seen a lot, but nothing like this. Never. Uh-oh. I know that look. You're a fast learner. You'll know the rest once you find my wife. Working on it. And making piss-poor progress. They split up. Hadn't considered that possibility before. But don't worry. I'll find Anna, too. Heard anything about there being witches in Velen? I pay no heed to peasant babbling. Common folks say witches, wizardry, devils, and who knows what the fuck else, every which way they turn. So long. 